What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another video, and today, real quick, I'd like to show you guys how to overclock an Asus Strix RX 480. Now, some of you are asking me, you guys wanted to see like a step-by-step -step guide. So today, I'll just show you guys how I managed to overclock my Asus Strix RX 480 and what I had to do. So, uh, first thing first, I'll show you guys what uh, software I'm using to overclock the Asus RX uh, 480 the Strix and uh, so first thing as you guys can see I downloaded it from uh, Asus website Asus GPU tweak now a lot of you know this uh, uh, software by Asus uh, GPU tweaker so make sure you download that from Asus website and also I have uh, GPU Z right here now you don't really need the GPU Z because you can uh, you know see the information right here you can click on the info and you can see uh, all this uh, information in the uh, GPU uh, tweaker but I just like the clean look of the uh, GPU Z so that's why uh, you know I installed uh, GPU Z you can install uh, GPU Z from the tech uh, upload tech power upload and uh, yeah it's up to you if you if you want and the second thing I have belly benchmark here so I'll be running belly benchmark after I show you guys how I overclock my uh, Strix RX 480 and then we'll run the belly benchmark so we'll see if uh, the system is running stable and also i have msi after burner right here okay so with msi after burner basically i'll show you guys the overlay so as you guys can see right here uh with that you guys can see the overlay on the screen uh you know how many megahertz i'm getting and also the cpu uses and the memory uses so basically with that i'll show you guys you know what's going on on the screen so let's just go on with the overclock so as you guys can see right here we have oc mode gaming mode and silent mode so the oc mode basically like a slightly overclock so and the gaming mode is the default so you don't even have to click on the gaming mode gaming mode basically the default setting of the asus uh, graphics card and silent mode basically will lower the clock speed and stuff and just lower the fan profile so you don't almost like you don't hear the sound from the graphics card and the my profile is basically you know where you save your overclock settings and uh, from there you can save like you know uh, setting like you know as much you want uh, like different spend profile the max overclock so I have uh, as you guys can see here max OC because that's what you know I save uh, my overclock setting right there but you know you know you may set whatever you want now so right now we are in uh, the simple mode okay so with simple mode you can see you know all, basically uh, almost same as uh, let me open the MS afterburner okay basically same thing okay uh, you can monitor your hardware you know the temperature the clock uh, GPU clock uh, the voltage and the fans everything you know memory clock so it's almost same as MSI you can use the MSI afterburner but I personally recommend use the uh, GPU tweaker you know if you are overclocking an Asus card it's just easier okay now, if you guys want to see your, uh, you know, overclocking setting or basically the, the, the default setting and stuff, we have to jump into professional mode. So when we jump into professional mode, uh, you can see your uh, GPU uh, clock right here, the GPU voltage right here, memory, co uh, memory clock uh, right here, the fan. Uh, by default, the fan is on auto and the power target by default, 100. Now, if we jump into OC mode, uh, as you guys can see, uh, you get only like 20 megahertz. Now, 20 megahertz, not really a huge jump. So, I know most of you are, uh, you know, out there like me. I like to overclock my card and get the free performance as much I can get out of the card. So, now I'll show you guys, you know, how I overclock my uh, Strix RX 480 and how I managed to stable and get the performance, you know, I got. Now, your overclock may vary, you know, your silicon lottery, you know, may be better than mine. So, I still think Asus uh, Strix RX 480 with 1400 MHz overclock, perfectly fine for me. Now, keep one thing in mind. Don't compare AMD, okay? AMD uh, 
core, uh, core clock, GPU clock versus the NVIDIA. Now, the Pascal graphic card, you can overclock all the way up to 2100 megahertz. But then AMD, I think the max on air, you can go up to, uh, I believe, uh, 1470. You can go higher than that. But don't worry about that. Don't try to, like, you know, put right here, like, uh, 20, <laughs> 2100 megahertz. Because trust me, not going to work. You're going to crash right away. So don't try to compare the AMD uh, graphics card, you know, with uh, NVIDIA. Just a whole different uh, ball game. So, so GPU clock, I managed to stable at 1400. So I'm going to go with the 1400. Now, before any of this, go to setting and make sure you check under tuning setting overclock range. Okay. Without setting that, you cannot really overclock all the way you want. So, GPU clock, I managed to overclock all the way up to 1400 stable and the GPU voltage and make sure you have this one turned off okay because if you don't turn this one off what's gonna happen uh, every time I put a number here see automatically a voltage change so if I if I type uh, turn that off see now you let me do it so 1400 and then now we can manually change the voltage now so I set my GPU voltage to plus 100 that's 1250 okay I didn't need anything more than that and the memory clock I managed to go all the way up to 8800 and the fan speed okay I do recommend you guys to change the fan speed don't leave it on auto uh, set it up to at least uh, 60 70 okay if you leave on auto you're just gonna crash because the moment the temperature increases you're gonna crash so I have around 60% but sometimes I set up to 70% depending on the room temperature so 60% for now perfectly fine and make sure the part target uh, all the way up to 150 without setting up part target all the way up to 150 there's no way you can stable your overclock okay so make sure you have that set up all the way up to 150 now we can apply our settings and as you guys can see, uh, I'll change right here. Now, if you jump into GPU Z, you can see the 1400 megahertz right here, and the memory uh, clock is around uh, 2200 megahertz. Now, if we compare that to a default clock, uh, the GPU clock 1310, and the memory clock uh, 2000. So, real quick, what we'll do, we'll just leave the afterburner on so you guys can see the overlay, okay? and then uh, we'll just see okay so you have the both of these on and now we'll jump into belly benchmark sorry guys no you get cold okay as you can see, 1400 megahertz right up there, okay, right top here, and then as you can see, the temperature is now right around 50, 52, okay, and the bolt here, like 160, jumping all the way up to 164, okay. So guys, so here's my quick tips basically, you know, how to overclock your ASUS Strix RX480 and uh, you guys can uh, follow the steps, you know, how I did, uh, you know, my core clock, my voltage, my memory clock, but like I say, your overclock, your graphic card may, may vary, you may overclock your graphic card all the way up to maybe uh, 1470, maybe you, you are lucky, but you know, that's what I got and you know I'm not that lucky so let me know what you guys think if you guys have any questions leave in the comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer you guys that should be it guys peace